afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Eddie Tunick Show. Today we have a special guest that everybody's been asking me about. A really talented artist. I'm really excited about this interview. Anna Maria Critelli. Hi. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Say hello to the listening audience. Hi, everyone. Everybody's been asking me, when are you going to interview this young lady? We've been looking at her paintings for the last three weeks. And she is really talented. I'm really excited. We're at Princeton University this afternoon. And let's talk to her, find out a little bit about her and her talent. Anna Maria, you've been painting since you were how old? I started really at 12 with tempera paints. And then I started using watercolor. And uh, eventually graduated to acrylics. And now I'm using oil. Okay. And you... Uh, you grew up in Jersey City. Yes, I was born and raised in Jersey City, in the Boston area. So I had a lot of uh, architecture and different cultures to uh, be motivated to paint. I became very interested in portraying some of it. Okay, you went to New York a lot, Manhattan. Yes, I was always in New York museums and theaters and Central Park. And there's so much beauty in Manhattan, a lot of culture. And it just became um, very easy. And you majored in art history in college. Correct. What college did you go to? I went to New Jersey City State College. Okay. And you became interested in a real famous painter. <laughs> You're smiling. Monet. Yeah, Monet and Manet, French painters, the Impressionistic period. I was very interested in them. Basically because of the of colors that they use in which they portray the different um, scenery, the nature of the scenery, and, and the colors blended very nicely. And I just became uh, motivated to try to emulate them. So a lot of your ideas you get from Monet. Or, I mean, initially, style. Initially, yes. Mm -hmm. Great artists. They are. They were. They're very great artists. I enjoyed them very much. And I still do. In fact, they have two of them hanging at the Princeton Art Museum here on this campus. Okay. Great. You know, I, I don't want to forget anything. That's why I'm going to glance down at my notes, okay? You do a, a lot of people ask me, ask Anna Maria about the, um, th the three-dimensional, um, your interpretation, mystical display of dimension and texture painted across canvas and the array of training colors. Would explain this three-dimensional. Well, mixed I, media, is that what it's called? I use a lot of mixed media to create three-dimensionality. Um, sometimes I use foilage, real foilage from, when you, from the trees. When you say mixed media, what do you mean exactly? Uh, it's just different, different uh, textures, different things to make the canvas appear that it has more texture to it, more three-dimensional. Um, I use concrete, paste, I use gesso, um, gold leaf, um, cardboard, w whatever it is that I'm, it depends on the subject matter that I'm using, I'll, I'll use something that will stand out to make it look three dimensional. Interesting. And you are definitely a perfectionist driven by the passion to portray beauty through your paintings, which a lot of people say, say that about you, yeah, and I can see why looking at your paintings, I mean, they're really, I can't, they're breathtaking. Have you seen the responses on Facebook of people that saw the paintings? Yes, I was very pleased to see that there was a very positive response to my artwork. I yeah, we, we, we put a painting up there, and boom, like 150, 200 likes right away. Mm -hmm. When are you going to interview this lady? This is really exciting. That's great to hear. Let's talk about some of the achievements you've had. Uh, fantasy exhibit acrylic paintings featured in Monet Gallery right here in Princeton. Yes. What's the Monet Gallery? Monet Gallery is, a, is an art gallery right on um, Witherspoon. It's an older gallery. And they, they exhibit all different types of paintings and artists. And I was lucky enough to start out there while I'm doing the Princeton area. Talented enough. Not lucky enough. Your talent got you there. <laughs> the Island Earth ga Gallery, uh, that's in Surf City, New Jersey? Yes, that's in LBI, Long Beach Island. And you had the dance 
which is a painting displayed there. That was featured on the cover of the Home News Tribune that year, July 4th weekend, 2002. Okay. And somebody noticed uh, a painting on that cover and got in contact with you? Mm -hmm. It was on the cover of the entertainment section, and there was a couple from East Brunswick who saw the painting and drove all the way down to Long Beach Island to purchase it for their daughter. It was a little ballerina, and their daughter was a, a little dancer, so... She Came loved it, didn't she? It. Yes, she did. Loved and it. I was happy to sell it to her. Very much so. Okay. You also had a write-up in the Princeton Packet. Mm -hmm. That's a local newspaper. That's a local newspaper. That's correct. And the Star Ledger. The Asbury Park Press. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave anything out. You participated in a silent auction of your painting with Mana which is an AIDS relief organization who provides meals on wheels for the afflicted. That's correct. It's very important. It, um, what they do every year is they have a, a silent auction in various uh, art schools in different places. And I participated in two. One um, was sold at a silent auction. For, it was a reproduction for $500. And it was purchased by a business owner Mm -hmm. from Market Street, and it's presently hanging there. And the second one that I participated was the Zoni Awards, and um, my Tuscan Geranium was auctioned off also for, uh, I believe, $2,000. And all the proceeds go to MANA. That's so very it's nice. It's a charitable organization. Very nice. Thank you. I felt good about it. Art exhibit feature Mercer County College. Mm -hmm. I, there, there's so many. I just keep reading and reading. It's very impressive. And right now, uh, the Moore's School of Art in Philadelphia, Tucson Geranium, was auctioned off for $2,250, mm -hmm. and you donated the proceeds to Madam. Yes, I did. Very nice. Very nice. And I do want to mention that all your work is hand painted by you in the USA. That's correct. It is not sent out to other countries for others to paint. No. So when you're buying Anna Maria's paintings, you are buying directly from the artist, which is very important. It is very important to me. Okay. And tell us about the uh, art exhibit that you're going to participate in coming up in Miami, Florida. I'm participating in an art competition at the Art Fusion Gallery in Miami, and the winners would be announced on June 1st. And if I do become one of the winners, I will have a three-month exhibit at the Art Fusion Gallery, a three-month exhibit at the Urbano Hotel, one year of representation by the Art Fusion Gallery, and a year of publication. So that's very exciting for me. How many winners do they pick? There are three. There are three categories. So, first, second, and third place. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I think you're going to do pretty good. I sure do hope so. Okay. And for all the uh, entrepreneurs out there, that I mean, I don't know much about the art business, like the acting business, but if there's people in the art business looking for <coughs> talent, talented painters, here's a really talented lady. Great artist. We're going to tell you how to get. In I'm going to let Anna Maria tell you how to get in touch with her. Anna Maria, you can uh, reach me on Facebook. Anna Maria Critelli, A N N A M A R I A C R I T E L L I, or you can email me at art by Anna Maria, A R T B Y A N N A M A R I A at AOL dot com. Great. Can I ask you for a favor? Sure. If I ask you to come back on my show later on when you're really way up there, and you're on your way. I mean, I, in the art field, I know you're famous, but you're going up the ladder pretty quickly. Will you come back to my show? Oh, absolutely. You will. I'd be glad to. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the interview, and we're looking forward to seeing Anna Maria back on our show. Have a great day. Great day. This second one went better.